All right, so now we're on the front side. So you can see we're using Resolume. Um, and we're using those sources I talked about. We're using the outputs. We're using all that to create these very cohesive environments. To my right here, I have a multi-view. And what this is showing me is these three outputs are the three outputs I am sending to Video World. In Video World, he gets a chance to decide whether or not he takes this on the side screens. And then for the most part, these two objects are hitting the video, the, the switcher, and actually going directly to the LED processors. Now the reason we're going through the video switcher is for two main reasons. Number one, so that we can put program, i.e. the main camera cut, which is up here, uh, or whatever's going on streams or whatever, he could actually lay that on top of that center um, graphic just like this, and it's in time. Um, being in time is critical. If I were to do that through the video switcher, or th sorry, through Resolume, it would have frame delays. So it'd be a slight delay between the two. Um, right here, what I just was touching, is basically a switcher panel for his video switcher. So I'm actually controlling certain aspects. So when I trigger this, it's actually putting program into that center screen. Um, I actually have control over certain things. I can turn a key on and off. So if we want to take lyrics in and out, or if a speaker has speaker notes or bullet points or whatever, we can take those in and out as well. Um, and then you'll notice right here on the multi-view, I have a thing called bus link one and bus link two. Those are separate video feeds that I actually have control of, of what's coming into here. And so these are a bunch of different presets. If everything was up and running, you'd see these if I went through them, but I can bring up just the tight follow camera or I can bring program in or I can bring a link. So he's actually got a bus link that when he hits camera one, it's actually gonna send me camera five. So that there's always a separate camera being sent. It's kind of a neat little feature. And then I come over here and I can basically lay these out. I can place them anywhere. Any of those two, I can do anything I want uh, within those sources. Um, so to sort of show you how we're processing the actual graphics, let me put up my test pattern. Um, and I come in here, you can see right here, this is the actual spatial layout of how the wall lives inside the program. Now. Uh, you can tell it's not exactly perfect, but it's enough that the eye would be able to see a lot of the difference visually. However, that's not how we're sending it to video system. This is actually how the LED processors are seeing it. So all of the four squares on stage are all in one video processor. And then the top, the center, and there's actually a lower LED uh, bar right here that's on the drum riser. All those are actually on a different processor. So when I go and clip, uh, play a clip back here, like I was just doing, and then I come into here, you can actually see how that's splitting that up in a very funky way, even though what it looks like to the human eye is this. So video is actually playing, but each of these little windows is what's coming through. So that's, that's selecting the input, it goes to the output, and that's uh, basically how we're doing our pixel mapping.